Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Mary Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me, 
old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm, Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. <sighs> Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit at Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what I say to Dijkstra. At all. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Oh, God. A reaper's come for me. Hey, I've seen better. You too. Oh! No, this is for the drop. What's the hurry, my friend? Dum de dum de dum. Sick. Sick of it all. Oh. <laughs> Got an itch need scratching? Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Well, no. hello. And? We fix it. No. Said I'd come to the wrong place. But he's so dumb. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. 
High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. 
Manga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Scram before I lose my patience. Witcher, scram before I lose my patience. Witcher, Witcher. Scram before I lose my patience. We'll deal with the witches, then we'll come for you. Don't you worry. Oh! Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You her. don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! <laughs> Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler? Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Got a silver sword on my back. That not enough? It proves nothing. Doppler's can change their bodies at will into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties naturally. See, you're an expert on Doppler's. I'd expect a witcher of all things to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none! Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Marigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No, no more. Be brave, dear. 
Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Ow! Bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? I'm looking for a treasure with Siggy Ruvens until recently. Well, well. Furthering the cause of the eternal fire on the one end, working for criminals on the other, I work for whoever pays me. Like a whore. More or less. Just offer a different range of services. Where's the treasure? Secure in a Kaviri bank. Far and safe from you. Far and safe from Ruvin. Got information about Philippa. Thought you might want to buy it. I do. But not at any price. Alright. So free Dandelion. First you ask about a criminal's treasure. Now you want me to let loose a blaspheming degenerate. And here I add you for a man that is a being of some moral principle. No doubt we're cut from different cloth, but we don't have to agree on everything to make a deal. We need not agree any terms either. I could simply force you to tell me what you know about Philippa. Doubt that. I really doubt that. Whereas I'm a man of great faith. Guards! In here! You've given me no choice.
think that's all of them. That was close. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. He did, until I asked about the treasure. Geralt, we talked this over. You agreed. <sighs> Fine, never mind. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Trace. You there! Mr. Rovan wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. No. Your gold's in a Kaviri bank. Here's the key to the vault that holds it. <laughs> well, well. Would have earned yourself a medal if I was in a position to bestow it. A 
That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. This is no regret. No monsters to be had. Ah, what a waste of wood. Enough for seven winters there. Picks his teeth with an axe. But Got my eye on you, white one. It's not safe to go out on the Oh, hey now. Hear my prayer. Grant my plea. Bring my husband back to health. Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Mercy on me. What I ask and I'll spare no offering. Ooh. Ah! Greetings! Uh, oh! Sorry. Ah! Oh, 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 sick. Sick oh. of it all. What village are you from? Oh. Your lives. Unbloody thing of all! Degeneracy. Uh, so you did looking for a thing. Uh, uh, don't. Uh, what can I do? Oh. Hello, long ears. You paid the tax. Tax? Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Oh. 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 Excuse me. Uh. Daddy will get mad if he sees me talking to you.
Chris. How'd you know to... Ah, uh, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. I really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. You'll talk. Just a matter of time. So save us some, yourself some too, and stop acting tough. Or what? Or I'll have to hurt you. Permanently. I see you know your way around an interrogation. So do I. You're the bad one. All threats and torture. And the red one's the good one, full of sympathy and sweet promises. That's where you're wrong. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. And I'm just getting started. You must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. So, can I talk? Uh, yes! Yes! You just tell me what the fuck about! Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way! Sure about that? <laughs> Radovid! I work for Radovid! Radovid, what did he hope to gain by helping Menga? He seeks to clear the field. Before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose mages are gone. Bastard! He'll pay for this. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have set up at the start. Before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. You expect an apology? No. But am I right to be surprised, haven't I? Dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxen Burt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. If you did person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. Why? I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. As good as lit the fires with Menga in the square. He deserves to die. But I helped you. I helped you. Perrin. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? 
Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. alive. Warning you. Looking for a uh, rise. Good off, Ars Munch. <laughs> What's ah. it, right? What a smack. Hmm. Uh. And? He fix it for you? No. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. 
Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver, frequently. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havokars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. 
Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. The passive flora is no the bird's most famous it won't take in the to that But there's name. also cryptic oh, trees. The rosemary. Why is your air so great, Arnie? What say the priests? Why are they not Christmas? Such debauchery in the light of the eternal fire, right under their noses. They're not bothered. Officially, they're tremendous. Unofficially, they drop in themselves. I'll not sit in here at all. I think I'd piss me trousers. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. <laughs> the King of Beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Oh, 35's as low as we'll go. 25's our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. Ah, you're clearly daft, Tramp. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. No deal. Geralt, what are you... Wait. All right. Certainly know how to negotiate, concerned friend. Oh, 25 it is, and the discount. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Tin Boy. Too much drink. You softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! News travels fast. Don't. What do we do? Good. Oh. Make it! This way! Geralt, quickly! Careful! Follow me. Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Think they'll come back? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. 
Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Hattori, wait. What's the hurry, my crew? Do you mind not touching me? Hattori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a Witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me! What? Where am I supposed to find you a bodyguard? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... Not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Right. Oh, oh, it's those well, well. Ooh, what's uh. it? <laughs> hmm? I'm here about the contract. Oh, well, a night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the lot. Armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales. Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn them. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. I? I know you from somewhere. I should interject. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your clown business. You need a smack us on it. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? For it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. 
Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Geralt? You and the merchant, what was that about? Uh, why Miss Sess wedded that plow and rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Frickin' law, more like. Sweet talk me at first. Skellige mead, we need barrels, we'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not, if there's coin in it? Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to batter. Favor for a favor, aren't I? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Sucrus's collector. Come to get Mr. Sucrus. The man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skelliger. Got a problem with Sucrus? <laughs> I thought mead. I shall import mead. Daft idea for a business. The import duties. My bollocks shrivel at the thought. I paid the bastard what we agreed, less half the duties. And palm trees will sooner sprout in Skellige. Yeah, I know. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes, I'm on my way. Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh. Noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Oh, you're easy enough on the eye. Oh, Hello, Sour 
Hey. Oh, Ooh. you're easy oh, enough on you the eye. Make a fine sailor. You can see. Rum and supper. Right? Help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitching. Lords out with their purses. Ladies too light with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's a witcher for anyways? To help men in need. You boys are tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Hey, what do you want? Are you staring? Go see me. One ring worm. One ring worm. Oh! Oh, you don't mean to. Oh! <laughs> oh. Shut up, oh. And? Oh, welcome. Ooh. Watch where you're walking. The thing I've pissed me to Really use your face. Watch it, Gray Ed. Move if on. I don't know, you was the only terror you are. Oh. So. Greetings, Satori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could... borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Where are you staring? What is your <laughs> ass, my okay, Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? hattori has got a job for us. Great. Now he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Hmm. Sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Sensitive. 
I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark them with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. I was made for loving. Fancy a hop back to my place. Mm. Oh, my coin. <clears throat> what the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I'll lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Your Zigrin sends his regards. By your own Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Aye, Geralt. It's the bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus? Were you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you? That bloody Norman Shoe will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Give him here, Sucrus. Twirsang! with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Beckeran ever brought us? Where's that Draco that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I gotta pay him a visit, too. Oh. Hi, Hudson. Oh. What's with your walking? Just came ashore. The people are already pissing. Ah! Dum -dum 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 Got an itch needs scratching.
cute or not too cute. That is the. Life, you gotta take risks. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything. Listen, would you craft something for me? So long. 